Our experience with those houses that we have built and used on the Viking Carrier has been very positive. We deal with a lot of phone calls about trucks being and homes being broken down alongside of the road due to the, either the frame failure, the axle failure, the tire failure. I've transported one home because of all the downtime and the repairs. A trip like that would take about three to three and a half days where when we used the Viking system, we were able to do it in two days. Well, I was curious as to how many tires we actually change. It's just the year 2015, year to date, which is just six months and this is just one of our local factories we haul for and we've hauled 88 units out of that factory we've changed 236 tires the homes have outgrown the systems of the last 50 years as they get heavier they get nicer you start adding rock to a house whether it be exterior or on the interior all of those things contribute to weight but the running gear has stayed the same for 40 years at least they're using the same type of axle and tire that they've used on something that at that time may have weighed 15,000 pounds now we're talking 50,000 pounds. After we weigh them we find that they have a total of eight or nine axles. Those axles are spread out so far they're great for going straight down the road but when you have to turn a corner some places might have driveways that we know we just can't quite get in there without breaking something. Whereas if the Viking carrier system, the three truck axles, uh, you, it's not an, an issue at all. I want to present the best home that we can. And with the old axles and tires and so on, the home doesn't always arrive in the best manner that we want it to. As it travels, it cracks and, and then it has to be repaired on site. We had one home that in moving it around in our yard, we had a fair amount of uh, drywall breakage that took place here and we repaired it. I said I was wasting my time. There's no point for me to fix them because by the time they travel there, they would have cracked. And so we did the repairs after we had it on the Viking Carrier and we were just interested to see in what condition those repairs would survive or not on the transit from here to the ultimate site. And those repairs, none of them broke open. I was pleased to contact the setup guys who'd indicated that, that they didn't see the same stress cracks that I saw here at the plant. And that's, that's new to us. Which is, I think, just a testament to how well the, uh, the house transported on that Viking carrier. It allows me to present the homeowner, the contractor, the setup people, the best home that is possible. And the house gets there timely and in some cases even ahead of schedule. The Viking carrier system has uh, decreased the stress level on our drivers, I I've noticed, tremendously. More safe with the carrier. I haven't had to change any tires. Keeps the air pressure equal in the tires, which is perfect. The mobile home industry really needs to look at the safety aspects, the public condition of the house. There needs to be changes. How long have they been recycled? At least 45 years. That's called metal fatigue. We're due for a change, which is a Viking system. I don't have to stop and change tires. I can run at a higher speed, a higher wind velocity and not worry. Uh, with the air brakes, I could stop almost on a dime where the other brakes take a long time. To prevent an accident from happening, this is the way to go. There's just a safety factor that we'll find is an added benefit as compared to traditional tires and axles. And I am a proponent of the Viking carrier system on many levels. Having pulled mobile homes for so many years, I think this is the up and coming way to do it.